used to be beautiful and uh, uh, it supported lots of biodiversity. It would have been farmed and grazed, uh, particularly by the nomadic tribes of the region. And this sort of existed for, for thousands of years. Like um, 40, 50 years ago, it's still the land was still fertile. Overgrazing, overpopulation. Uh, you see the degraded grasslands, such as here in Inner Mongolia. You see disappearing oases. Uh, you know the groundwater just disappearing. China's affected significantly by it. About 33% of China is covered in desert, um, and a large portion of that is due to desertification. When there is no vegetation on top of the land, um, when the wind comes, it blows away the dirt, and then it blows away the sand, and then it forms sand dunes, and it also moves sand dunes from place to place. Um, the less vegetation you have, the bigger the desert is going to grow and this is what's happening in this area and uh, uh, we're trying to stop it. This is the Million Tree Project and it was founded in 2007 and we came out to Kulunchi, Inner Mongolia to help fight desertification. Our goal is to plant one million trees by 2014. Trees help establish a solid base for the, for the soil. The topsoil gets stabilized and other grasses and other uh, shallower rooted plants can start to thrive in those areas, either at the base of the trees or in between the trees. We will have 200 people participating this year um, from schools, corporations, and just individuals. 65% of the total desert in China is a result of desertification. So we started the project with the concept that if we come out here and we work with the local farmers in this region that lies right on the cusp of desertified land, then we can help stop the desert from expanding and help the farmers reclaim the land that's been taken over by the desert.